As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in our Lord Jesus Christ, we are on the 21st Sunday of Ordinary Time. In today's second reading, we reflect upon how St. Paul instructed the Church of Ephesus on the depth of family relationship and the need of love and respect in the family structure. He reminds the wives to be subject to their husbands in the same way that the church is subject to Christ her head. On the other hand, husbands are to love their wives in the same way as Christ loved the church his body. Hence he even gave up himself just for his church. I would like to first look at the importance of a healthy family relationship which is the root for such an assertion as that of, say, of Prophet Joshua, as we see in the first reading. Perhaps, perhaps it would have been easier for me to just say, I will serve the Lord personally, than to include my whole family. It is a true fact that all families cannot stand in front of the society and acclaim and proclaim that they will serve the Lord. These days, we even find many gods served by just one family. This shows the difficulty of having a unanimous conviction when it comes to spirituality and religion in our families. Our families are supposed to be the domestic churches, as the church always teaches. Yet, this is a rare phenomenon but we can slowly grow towards this reality with the grace of God. As the Lord himself says in today's Gospel, which is the Gospel of John chapter 6, verse 65, he says, This is why I told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by the Father. This Sunday we are called to pray for the grace of God to be efficacious in our families so as to serve the Lord as the Joshua family did. And also to be faithful to the Lord our God. And like Peter, we can also affirm that there is no other place would rather be than with the Lord, for he always nourishes us with the words of eternal life. If we continue with reading the Gospel of John chapter 6, we will realize that Judas was there among the 12 apostles who chose to remain when the other disciples left Jesus. And Jesus himself even referred to Judas as the devil. So those who remained were not angels. But what made them to remain is their desire to serve the Lord. So our sinfulness should not be an excuse for moving away from the Lord. Rather, we should be willing to come to the Lord no matter what is our state of being. He is our head, we are parts of his body. That is why he even gave up himself just to sanctify us. He will never forsake us. It is also our choice as Christians to serve the Lord with the grace of God then leading our families. This Sunday we pray for our families to receive the same grace received by the Joshua family. And that is the same grace which made the twelve apostles remain when the other disciples left Jesus. Amen.